guys and welcome to my channel today i'm back with another collab video featuring well not really featuring but taking part with uh, a couple other simmers in this one group i did a collab with them last month where i made an amish family i will link that in the description below because honestly it was such a great video like i love the family they came out really well i think the hardest part for me there was getting the custom content that looked appropriate because I really didn't want to mess up at all. So this month's theme was like a beach couple or like a beach family, like having your Sims look like they're beach ready. Now <laughs> it it's probably going to sound weird because if you saw the thumbnail, it's a mermaid and vampire family or well, couple. Now the the way that I kind of snuck this in to be like a beach theme is because of this little backstory I have on them. And it's essentially that the vampire, her name's Morgana St. Clair, not like, not S-T, but Saint as an S-A-I-N-T. That probably sounds funny. I, I just wanted to be weird. And I mean, that's very, very easy for me. But she always has when she was immortal she enjoyed the beach and she enjoyed the sun and unfortunately with her being a vampire now she can't enjoy that stuff however she still does and they um she ends up meeting this mermaid here leia and they end up falling in love but unfortunately Morgana is only able to see her love during the nighttime at the beach or like if it's really cloudy she can kind of risk it. It's honestly a pretty complicated relationship considering the fact that one belongs in the sea and the other belongs in the darkness. But I mean at least Leia is able to transform into a human walk on land. And the two eventually will end up getting married under the moonlight. Now, I did not actually play this out in my game or anything. So they are technically not married if you download them on the gallery. However, you know, you can use your imagination, say that this is before the wedding. I made them some kind of wedding themed formal wear. So I thought it was like really pretty and it just... It was an interesting, interesting contrast because uh, Leia, she is all very bright and like she wears a lot of yellows and you know, she's kind of like the sun and then Morgana, who you will see in a little bit, but you've already s probably seen a little bit of her considering if you saw the thumbnail, but she's very dark and they... They basically have like this mutual love for the outdoors and I, and it's honestly kind of sad that Morgana can't really get to enjoy the sunlight like Leia does. And in order for them to be together, Leia would either A, have to sacrifice her ocean home and the sunlight, which are two things that she really enjoys, or Morgana is going to have to either sacrifice her possible wife in order to see her love but it, I know it sounds kind of silly I'm it, the stories did sound a little bit better in my head than honestly what I'm coming up with right now but I just like I really enjoyed making these two sims like I found a bunch of custom content for mermaids and as you can see here I am using so much of it and it's just like she's just super super pretty and I like I actually never used that scale thing from EA before and it honestly does look really good but it's like you know I have um what did I make her yeah she's like a child of the ocean she wants to explore so honestly Leia is okay with going on land because she's able to adventure like I'd say that her and Morgana end up starting the adventure around the world however they're gonna have to do it under the darkness so um, it would probably be a pretty interesting relationship to see how they handle things, considering Leia would probably miss the sunlight, but if she wants to spend time with Morgana, she's going to have to be up during the nighttime. 
I honestly thought that this couple was super cute, and I've been noticing lately, uh, a lot of the couples I've been making have actually been two girls. I think it's just because I really enjoy making girls more than guy characters. I do, like, I'll remodel, like, I remodeled Bob Pancakes, and I remodeled Multimate, Multimate? Multimat? I, wow, I can't say his name anymore. Please correct me in the comments, because I know I'm saying it wrong. Um, but yeah, I, like, when I create Sims, I tend to make girls. Now, I did make, like, Marshall and Julian also, but, like, Marshall was kind of very plain, to be honest, but that's just kind of how I envisioned Marshall in a human form. However, Julian, like, was so much fun to make. He was definitely my favorite one to make in that entire group. But Morgana here is actually a lot of fun for me to make because I was able to use like all these gothic -y outfits I found. And I will link all the custom content in the description below as I always do. And it's just like, it was so fun making this. And like, I just, I kept looking at all my outfits because I wasn't sure what I wanted her to go with. Because like, there were just so many pretty outfits to do. So I did eventually like, find quite a bit of them. I think most of them are actually from the same creator, but it was, it was really fun being able to use all these because I don't make too many often uh, gothic sims. I did make like a gothic -y sim for the spark challenge, the wedding destination one. Um, I'm honestly wondering when they're going to do another spark challenge because I mean, I'm recording this on the 18th of August and there hasn't been any announcement for another spark challenge yet. I know that they're still in the process of checking all the entries and judging them and <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm really hoping that I have some chance of my couple being a top, but at the same time, I don't really know if it's gonna. <laughs> it would just be really nice, but yeah, I don't make too many gothic -y sims anymore. Like when I first started playing The Sims back, uh, well, I, I did play Sims 1, but like when I really started customizing my Sims and like The Sims 2, they were almost all gothic -y sims. So it it's kind of like a little throwback for me, but then like my skills have definitely proved a lot since then. <laughs> But yeah, this is like a really cute couple and like I think I actually had a little bit more fun making Morgana than I did Leia even though I really enjoyed making the mermaid form of Leia just because I was able to throw together all these very gothic-y and like red and black themed outfits which is like I said a throwback to back when I really started actually focusing on how my sims actually looked because I'll be on the sims one. I didn't focus on it much because there really wasn't much to do. <laughs> I never used custom content. I actually never used any custom content until, uh, what was it, the third, yeah, third sim. So uh, I did actually used to experiment with like coloring, like recoloring hairs in the sims too because they had that one little thing that was included. But otherwise than that, no, I didn't. Um, but I'm going to be going into the screenshots now. Morgana, you already saw the screenshots of Leia. So, I really do hope that you guys like this video. I know it was mostly me rambling, but, like, what do you think of this couple? Do you like them? I absolutely adore them. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and this content, please like it before you go. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Share this video with a friend if you think they like it. And alright everyone, I'll see you next time and I hope you all have a magical day. Bye!